Hey fam, my name is Akira and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is another lip gloss review. That's right, this video needs no introduction, so let's get right into the video. So today's lip gloss I'm going to be reviewing is from a brand called Trisha Private Sale. The owner reached out to me through my email, which is the best and only way to get a video on your lip gloss. Um, her name is Patricia. She reached out to me through my email and she sent me some gloss. So the gloss she sent me, she told me she sent me rose and strawberry gloss, which is $4 on her website. And she sent me the Trisha Private Sale lip balm, which is $2 on her website. Um, she did not tell me how much shipping is, um, but Patricia, when you watch this video, which I'm sure you will, will you leave it down in the description box and let us know? That'd be awesome. She also gave us a coupon code, Akira15, for 15% off your order. Um, that will be in the description box along with her website and her Instagram so that you can find her and purchase her lip gloss if you think you'll like it. Y'all, I'm getting so efficient with these. Like, here we are. A minute and 30 seconds is into the video and we're already ready to look at the gloss <laughs> okay so this is how it was shipped to me in this teal turquoise bubble mailer um it didn't take very long to get to me but to be real i do not remember what day it was shipped or what day it got here i've had it for at least like a week now y'all there's so much going on. I'm going to try to get better with uploads, but between YouTube, I'm in real estate school and I have a and I have a part-time job that likes to schedule me 35, 37 hours a week. I'm doing the best I can. But yeah, so let's get right into the gloss. Sorry if my gesturing with scissors is making y'all nervous. Um, but yeah. I want to try and make sure I ain't go cut nothing by cutting it open like this. All right. So, paper first. It says, hello, love. I am Patricia Songo, owner of TPS. Thanks, and I hope you will love the product. Please add us on Instagram with her Instagram and our website. And then it has some kind of phrase in a language that I don't know. So I'm not even gonna attempt to butcher it with a really pretty picture of her. So here it is right there. How cute is that? All right, let's get into the gloss. So the gloss comes like this. Cute organza bag. I love these little organza bags. I use them to organize stuff in my room, like in these various drawers. Um, so I really like organza because it can be reused so you don't have to just throw it away. Um, but let's see. Ooh. Okay, these glosses, I didn't know this had glitter in it. So looking at it, it's so cute. Okay, so they are both the same gloss and two different tubes. We got a traditional squeeze tube like that. And then we have a candy tube. I've never had one of these. Let's see how pretty that is. And then here is the lip balm. Right there. Now, hmm. It says this is orange coffee. I don't know how I'm gonna like that. Um, it says it has avocado oil, um, lip balm base, and sweet orange oil. So let's see. I could try lip balm first because you know, if a brand sells lip balm, then in my head they want to use the lip balm with the lip gloss, and everybody knows a layer of lip balm makes your lip gloss go on smoother. I don't 
know about that. Actually, before I put this on, I want to, the smell, I don't know. Um, but before I put it on, I want to smell the lip gloss because I don't want to think this has a smell, but it's really that. So let's see. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Oh my God. That's so cute. Okay. Yeah. This has a very nice, pleasant, light strawberry scent. So I think for right now, um, just to keep things as normal as possible, I'm going to just use the gloss and then maybe later in my final thoughts, I'll try out the lip balm um, and see if I like the formula. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Also, in an effort to make my videos a little bit shorter, I think I'm only going to do one check-in. Um, which will be fine because I'm about to put on the lip gloss and then I'm going to go run some errands. So I'll probably just check in while I'm running errands. And yeah, because usually the thing that interrupts a wear test is eating. Because when you eat, you take off more lip gloss than you would if you were just talking. Sorry, I just got two notifications on my phone. Um, but yeah, so let's try the gloss. Okay, so my initial reaction is that this formula is really, really good. Like it is a nice, um, it's thin, like I like it. I like my glosses closer to the thin side. Very smooth, it's great. Like it feels wonderful. I'm looking in my monitor over here. It looks nice and shiny. Yeah, I hate this shirt, but I was too lazy. I would hate this shirt for filming, but I was too lazy to change it. Um, but yeah, this gloss, so far, so good. Like if this was a first impressions, I would be like bomb. But I'm still wearing it um, for a few hours and I'll come back with a check-in per usual. But yeah, so far, so good. Like, <laughs> good. Um, but yeah, and the tube, still so cute. But yeah, so I'll see you in my check-in. In probably like two or three hours since I put it on, it feels just as great as when I put it on to start with. It, I feel it like nourishing and moisturizing my lips. It is not drying sticky at all. Um, the smell is like non-existent at this point, although it was pretty pleasant to start with. Um, it is still a little bit shiny, not as shiny as initially, but it's still got some shine there. Um, but yeah, so far, like it's really good. So I have like zero complaints right now. So I'll see y'all in my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm back to give my final thoughts on the Trisha Private Sale Lip Gloss. So here are the glosses. I love them. There are very few glosses that I would pick up as much as I'd pick up my own glosses and this is one of them. It is a very, very, very good formula. It is very thin. So if you don't like a thin gloss, you're not gonna like this at all because they're even a little bit, a tiny, tiny bit thinner than mine. Um, but I like a thin gloss. Um, they wear really comfortably. They leave, leave. They leave your lips really moisturized, very smooth. They smell nice. They're really pretty. I really don't have any qualms. I'm trying to think of them. I don't really have any problems with them. Um, if maybe if you don't like this kind of tube, you wouldn't like it, but she got a wand tube option. She got a squeeze tube option. Um, I don't really have any problems with it. I did not get a chance to try the chapstick because I lost it. It is somewhere in one of my purses or somewhere in this room. I'm not sure where it is, but when I find it and I try it, I will put my opinion on it 
in the comments and pin it to the top so you'll be able to find it. Um, I just didn't want to delay this video anymore um, attempting to find it. Um, but you came to hear about the gloss anyway and my opinion on the gloss is that it is great, fantastic. Um, I really would recommend it. So yeah, that's all I really have to say. Let me know if you like this camera angle better. Um, I tried something a little bit new in an attempt to get the ring light situation a little bit more under control. Um, but yeah, so that's all I got. If you like this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't. Um, let me know what you want me to try next. Like this video and if you are not already, subscribe. Tell your mama to subscribe, your daddy to subscribe, your brother, your sister, your cats, your dogs, everybody to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.